Hello and welcome to the third Odyssey mod where we play Rome in the New World with old friends and new friends and probably enemies at some point. Why do I know that? Because I already recorded the next episode and then I noticed my mic was offline. So, oh, no, but turned off, right? <laughs> it was muted. Uh, so, yeah, I kind of know where this is going and I recorded a guide that will come soon on this other channel, main channel, whatever. Um, problem is i turned off the mod and activated again which kind of led to the mission tree being weird like i'm not 100 percent sure which mission we had and which we didn't so i'm just gonna click this and hope for the best i guess okay so you can do this now i didn't know if we had it yet but yeah the main problem is that i recorded this again so i clicked all of these missions already i just don't know which i did in the old recording which i didn't so if i don't react like I should because wow first time it's kind of because I already did I'm so sorry uh, okay but I like a parliament it allows us or a senate at this point because it allows us to get a lot of extra bonuses I would love to get a settler but oh uh, attempt Albanian integration that could actually be helpful I'm gonna do I'm gonna definitely do this influence sure crown land ah, I don't want to do that I'm in tradition professionalism that is all fine but let's hope this leads to the in Albanians being integrated cause they can be a real pain in the RS religion wise I don't mind the culture I will integrate at some point if they stop rising up and kind of lose like a lot of development towards that the main reason I didn't integrate them is because they are developed very bad sounds very bad if I say it like this but you know what I mean uh yeah we are settling somewhere very settling at the moment here okay so I should set my army close to that and the good news is we are now in a situation where we just got th out through the entire financial disaster and we are about to recover right now which means we make money we are getting somewhere where we want to and everything's going good Reven Re <laughs> revengean influence until the end of the game found yeah i think i should do that by the way and oh cool i got this decision i clicked the other thing and it was kind of boring so we have them here, right? And they have, I think, colonialized this. Yeah, they did. They did. They did get this. So the Cretan, uh, the Cretan question. Basically, either we integrate them into our empire or let them be a colonial vassal, right? Um, they can subsidize the colonies and everything like this. Basically, they go into Caribbean and kind of combat the Portuguese, which will arrive here apparently. Um, I would say last time I clicked this, which was kind of boring. And because I get a chance to re-record everything, I'm actually giving them the colonists and let them colonialize in this. I like the idea and it seems to be more fun to do that, I think. You know, more influence over the Caribbean without... Because I'm already busy colonializing here and it's nice to have like a vessel that does it for me. Um, I should reduce this here, by the way, because this isn't something I don't want. Get some crown land back, get a new mission, maybe improve the prestige yeah that's an easy one i would say and you get rid of that one good then let's go back to the game uh what's the big problem we don't have oh okay this changed wait i never choose this i chose that right yeah i'm pretty sure for authority senatorial empire okay uh ba -ba 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 what do i want what do I want? I would say Macron cultures, no. Monthly autonomy change, culture conversion. We don't need it. We get events for that. I think I didn't choose this yet, right? Vassal, limit contribution, diplomatic relations. I don't need that. I guess this could be good or possible advisors, reform progress. I guess I get this. Seems to be fine. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, they stopped moving right beside. It's a good thing I checked this out. Okay, so, yeah, idea-wise, I was <laughs> I was like, which idea should I choose? And then I saw there's only one idea. The first time I saw this, I was a little bit surprised. <laughs> As I said, I recorded the next episode, so I'm not going to pretend like I didn't see it. But I found it funny. I was like, you know, I didn't see, I wasn't sure which idea we should choose. So I'm going to go in here and, and it's like one idea. I'm like, I guess I'll take that one. <laughs> oh, that was so stupid. Anyways, the Lost Flores footage exists now. Yeah. But I had an idea. Not gonna say by the way again. But I'm, which means I said it again right now. Um, I want to start an Austria-like campaign, which is more interactive when I have time. 
and I already know the area where I want to play it. Because we always play Rome, 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 and the next big campaign is going to be Byzantium again, blah, blah, blah. But I thought about doing a Japan campaign. Because I like playing nations like Shimatsu, I like playing nations like Oda, and... I never get the chance, I didn't play them in a while. I'm not sure if I wait for the new patch or not. But... It could be a fun campaign, honestly. So, wait for that. That will probably come very soon. Oh, I just saw the uprising. I'm so stupid. I lost so much colonists to that. Uh, when I talk and this happens, it really makes me mad. <laughs> oh. Finland wants help in a war, sure. There you go, Finland. Not Finland. They will not take this right. No, they can't. Good. Let's go over there. Nah, it's not too important, though, right? They should have this under control. They're so strong. They're such a huge mass up there. Good. This allows us to get a lot of colonies down here, right? I have, like, missions to support them or something like that, they said. I didn't really read into it. I know, I'm crazy. So, foreign overlords. Oh, but this say Oh, look, this fixed itself. It could be that they updated the mod to the new uh, version. Because I played the mod on the new version while it's still being not updated to the new version. Could be that the fixes, and this is why the states kind of got fixed now, but the missions were all kind of, like, rolled back. Oh, by the way, you have to go down here because they're in my now and then want them to siege this down. Yeah, got them. Good. Five speed, best speed, I know. I don't know, but a colonial life is just do five speed because, you know, what else is there to do? Not really anything, right? Uh, this all seems fine. Yeah, and the war is over. Good. I should take over this land, by the way, so let me split the spinal drug in there. Kind of conquer the land around this trade. Oh, that is them, right? That's good. Good, we get Greek fire again. Until the end of the game, which is nail maintenance is high, but our ships are way stronger. And we get more fort defense. And we get... Uh, gets the end of the telephone game. Trade deal, okay. This is good. So, But if we take over this province... Or is this a modifier for them personally? Must be a nation modifier. <laughs> but if they get this permanently, that would be so good for them. So, oh, most definitely gonna take this now. Gonna send him here. Wait, 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 wait. You just lose a colonist? Yeah, we did. Oh, okay. So I was confused. So basically, when I gain my first colonist, I lose the free colonist. Because I only have one colonist again. Interesting, okay. Weird. Removes a new world to explore, modify. Okay, okay. Yeah, but it unlocks the other idea groups. Ah, okay, that's the trade off. I get it now. Okay, now we have all the other idea groups, but we lost the free colonists. It is what it is, I guess. Um, I think I'm gonna keep them here for now. And we actually make a lot of money. That's good. I have to reduce the inflation. That is very important, otherwise, we get a lot of bad events that I really don't wanna have. And I think we don't have the Renaissance yet. Nope, we don't. Funnily enough, reforming the religion actually fixes that, if I remember. So we got a new free province over here and we got the Albanian majority or minority, whatever. Um, so that's that. Heretic culture. I know, crazy, right? How dare they? How dare they do that? Uh, long term? Short term. Long term. Copper will be now produced. Where is it? Day trees. Here is copper mover? I don't know. It is. Oh, that's actually good then. Wow. 1.5 more in trade goods. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Uh, I'm a tradition because I don't need that much manpower. I'm full of manpower and I don't go in big wars. At least I don't lose stuff. Okay. Attempt to integrate the populace. I will lose a lot of money, which probably... I don't even need a loan. I actually have enough money for that. 60% chance area belly in province becomes... Uh, every Albanian culture becomes blah blah. Replaces majority uh, majority effect. 
setback but the progress will continue okay i'll let one more tick happen money wise good we should be fine or, or we just get this event actually don't need the money attempt to integrate but did it just die i think it just died uh huh where is this it's a bordering province right oh that finished the colony though good i i took i took a loan i know but i feel like it's worth it yeah i don't need to convert to get this event it's sad though <laughs> this event is really depressing i'm gonna be honest so i take this and this i give you the good general and then we just go in um oh he's my ally oh, that's it's not good that i will just find a broken unit kind of waste for now um you do this compensate traders not really and our new ruler is about to be of age not an amazing ruler but could be way worse right uh put it into the merchants i don't need money that much i have a good income i'm not sure they have loyal uh loyal estates that have less of a negative modifier on me all right so do this again promise a mission temple or manpower recovery could actually try to manpower recovery and just chill for a little bit yeah it's not like we have that much manpower it's about three years of peace or something like that then we get a uh, reformer and more loyalty with the nobility of our nation which is quite good i feel like that's quite decent then let's pay back some of these loans we could actually pay back the last few burger loans it did increase by a little bit so we could reshuffle for like paying off an extra loan it's not that amazing i know but it's better than nothing right what is more important keep up in technology i would say this but now we go to the technology because it is quite important that we get more stuff here maybe i should have waited with the mission i'm gonna be on uh, with the first reform because we have way less population growth now uh but to be honest i didn't know what i clicked and i just clicked it and it was a little bit of a mistake but it could have been worse by the way i'm gonna get rid of this guy because he's not really really good is he he's definitely kind of bad uh, i will take this again though because we need at least some kind of growth here better uh you seem quite all right because you continue to colonialize but why did you stop do I have to financially support you oh restrict expansion i oh in the subsidized colonialization give him two monthly how about that so they actually meant in the diplomacy. i've never seen this feature before this is really cool so i've ways to subsidize and stop him in the diplomat this makes sense but i never expect something so intelligent that's so good i like it i actually like it a lot that's so cool that you put it here i i, I love this i'm gonna be honest i'm really happy finding this out that was really cool oh my god so you are with them right and he has no other friends so taking you should be easy you have military four i'm military six so the army of here should be enough to sack up you uh i will click this and uh, i don't even i could call him finland like the one chance i get to call him in right and then we go into here and bam they should take care of that you can actually run away which is bad but you know they should take care of you build a temple oh i failed the mission right ah forgot about that what do i need to colonialize here this province here i think i need to colonialize this anyway and i get extra settlers okay that's good okay we'll colonialize this next then that's a good bonus i liked it a lot i liked it a lot a lot so statify you nice gonna be honest liked it a lot so they are now here i don't like that too much so i'll try to kind of bully them with my other army yes i have another army it's just taking care of everything oh hey money <laughs> it's kind of bad that we get this i'm gonna be honest so pay back more loans and our income like we lose less and like we have to pay less and less interest we pay very little interest i know but the big thing here is the inflation that goes up every time uh, if you didn't know if you renew a loan you get like a little bit of inflation and if you have a lot of loans your inflation just goes through the roof every time they renew so the long-term pain it might just not be the, the paybacks if in your interest but also the inflation you pay because it makes everything else more expensive so i do like having less inflation okay let me oopsie wait a little bit okay now i get a loan damn it it doesn't tell me the outcome though 
So let's try to stop them. That's an Albanian uprising. That was an Albanian uprising. Good to know. Uh, pay money. Pay war operations. I guess I wait for you to peace out then. Or to be sieged. Uh, uh, you know, I take both. I do definitely take both. Thank you. I get how much of that money? At least a little bit, right? But I do get the war operations at 100%. Take everything of you and the money. Thank you very much. It should allow me to pay back the loan I just got. Yeah. Like we never had one. Amazing. And once we caught the province. Oh, that's so sad. Sparta is now our enemy. The new world Sparta. Ah, they rivaled me first. I just want to point this out, okay? It's their fault. Um, that's all fine. This is... Nope, I'm not going to sell maps. Definitely not. And this should all be fine. How long is my truce with you? Two more years. So, very soon. I like it. I like it. And... Bum, 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 bum. Okay. But I... Talking to you... At Actually, uh, this episode will go out tomorrow, so you know when I will record this. Uh, if you do everything right, you, you very soon will see the guide I recorded yesterday. Actually, two days ago, when this comes out. <laughs> uh, it was actually uh, working with the AI at the moment, and I can ask you if you have similar experiences. I feel like the AI at the moment, with the current... how it works and everything, it just really struggles to play with a player. I mean, that was always a problem, but it's so bad because I, I made, I'm making a Milan guide right now, right? And I'm fighting with Austria and Austria is just behaving so different than it would when I fight against them. Because I play I, I, at, at some moment of fight Venice, right? Jumping to another setting. I, I'm sorry for the few who just watched this. And the main problem is that the Austrian AI in this moment playing with me just does very irrational stuff like having a lot of 5k stacks and the Venetians just go through with the 24k stack and they win every battle of course right because they, they have the biggest stack Austria all in all has more numbers but they just don't know how to be deal with them and the only thing I can imagine without being mad at the like the game itself is that the oh I just saw an uprising right go there fast is that the AI just struggles to work with a player. It can't be no other reason, because I don't see the irrationality in any other moment. Um, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on that, because I feel like it boggles my mind, and I hope that gets fixed. And I'm pretty sure I'm not just imagining it, because, yeah. I, from my stream audience, I know a lot of them had similar experiences. I don't know. It's just very, very weird. It's just very, very weird. Yeah, and I did not mention this this recording but in the recording that got lost um i like your ideas about having an end game goal for this because it's always a lot in the comments um maybe we should go with this content like get back the old borders in the old world um uh, getting the usa borders over here uh, i agree we need an end game goal why i didn't do that or mention it at the beginning is because i just don't know this mod at, like very well i've seen some playthroughs but not not all of it just some bits and parts so I kind of know where this goes, but I still am surprised by most things that will happen. Uh, probably not too much in the next two episodes, but all in all, I don't know where this mod is going and heading in detail. So I still like to play around and use the EU4 mechanics. As I said, my only negative was that you like bombarded with text boxes in the beginning, um, which kind of punched down my monkey brain, which just like to go see numbers up. Uh, but I do enjoy the storytelling they try to make throughout the tools they have, which just shows off a very passionate the modding team. I myself am modded too, uh, you know, a horrible game, you might have heard of it, Hearts of Iron 4, um, that I still very much like. <laughs> uh, I modded a mod, right? Crazy, modded a mod. You wouldn't believe. No, but jokes aside, it was like, it's a lot of work, right? And putting up such a thing, just takes a lot of passion and I respect that. So don't get me wrong when I say I, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. That doesn't mean I don't like the mod, by the way. I think none of you thought that, that I meant this, but I just want to clarify that. Good. I can't, I don't have enough ships, right? Ah, it's so close. I literally need one more light ship and should be enough to break through. That's sad. Hey, but we got it. So relocating. Which means we got this... No, what What do we got? This is another Albanian one. No, this is the one I took over. Ah, okay. 
I'm gonna be honest, eventually you get a lot of money for the resettling. Um, they're horrible, but they save your economy. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. They really do save your economy. It's the worst thing I've ever seen this playthrough, right? But without them, you would struggle so much more in this game. So, and that basically allowed me to pay back most of my loans right now. Hey, someone converted to our religion. How about that? So you want to take this? Sure, but I will eat your army. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I let this alone. And no uprising. I'm actually very lucky there. Um, okay, I can't do it because it's in this continent. Then I'm, I guess I take this. I don't have an AE problem. I'm much rather take more income. You know, so I guess that's the... 14 ducats? Must be spoils of war, right? How much is spoils of war? Nothing, that's just really my income. What? Uh, okay. Um, I like your application as a future leader, um, but I'm still researching for something else, so, um, good luck next year. Man, the leaders I get at the moment. <laughs> so bad. Uh, okay, you give me false religion money, you know, for future conquests that already have the right religion. Quite important. And you, um, just these two things, you know. Just give me all of your land. That's all I want. Not too much. Good. Then I guess we build up our armies, right? Grant autonomy to Varangian order. Okay, if I don't do this now, uh, an event will trigger what happens anyways. So the Varangian settlement happens, allowing us some degree of control over the Varangian substage will, will be formed. Settle them. Okay, they will settle there. They will settle here. So they get this province. Sure, why not? So they are now a, uh, a march and grand area. So I can like... All provinces in the subject's capital will be... Wait. So I guess this. No. I will not give them all of that. Uh, but I can... I like I like this menu thing here that I, I kind of can give them stuff. I would love to, if they could colonialize, but I guess they don't. But I guess I have a very strong march now. I guess, you know. Good. This all seems fine. You are nearly colonialized. Beautiful. So we go to this province now, which we need to colonialize for the mission. Let me double check. Oh, wait, it's the entire region. Do we need to own the... Any state. Okay, doesn't matter which one. That's good. You are... Actually, I'm gonna take this one. Montana has more development. Means more money. <laughs> uh, ignore this event. Good. Uh, no more loans. <laughs> uh, way too much money. All things are like... Uh, let me do this, which means a small uprising in the north, which means I'll take care of it. Good. Uh, you will go over here. I don't need more than the 2k and all of you go down here because we're about to greet our new neighbor with my armies. I would say we build... I feel like we get a fort in Elysia with an event, right? What else can I do? I have this here. Where I need a good advisor or one of the following. A naval reformer or a military engineer. So, do I have a naval reformer? I don't think so. I have a military engineer level 2 though. Good. And now I can do this. So, lose 500 dip points enables the construction of the great project, blah blah blah. The construction will cost 400 additional. So we can build this now. Cool. I guess I don't need the advice anymore, right? Can fire him now. Oh, that will be expensive, but yeah, but yeah, we don't have the money now. It's really cool, but we will build it when we can afford it. <laughs> we formed the Hellenic faith for that. We need to have more religious unity, and one of the following must be true: that I have. 30 provinces with the... Uh, if you're religious, I'd be completed of 30 provinces with the temple, which is more realistic, I would say. And here I need to own all of this, and I get building the path requires of owning the province. Subject. Okay, colonial boom. Okay, so we want to colonialize back here to get this colonial boom. Okay, good to know. We're actually colonializing one of the provinces I need for that. Cool. 
Uh, then I would say we five speed again. How about that? Good. Taking over this. And I would say this episode was so good compared to the others. Like, I'm just doing fine. I will take the Marines because it's our special ability. Um, yeah, why not? Um, they taking over the Caribbean, which will help against the Portuguese. Which I don't need to fight, but I don't mind having like... Yeah. Like some control in the area, right? I like how we are like the USHS Roman. And how we struggle having like... We're not really the USA though, right? Because we really struggle with getting stuff to us. Like our technological malice is so big, if you haven't seen it yet. Because we have this, where is it? Exiled, right? Man, it's a plus 25% uh, technology cost. That is so cool. Um, you know why? Uh, it, it is the situation. You have been from this old world, right? And you flee to the new world. And you really struggle with keeping up with technology because you, you're building up a new home, you're building up everything. And at the same time, you're in a situation where you think about, damn, I I really just don't know what's happening back there anymore. I really have to build everything from the ground up. They get gunpowder from China. We don't. We don't know what that is, right? Um, I feel like to get rid of this, we have to... Which mission do we have to finish? Which said it? Did it say... Uh, a new homeland, so we need to finish. Ba, 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 ba. Where is it? A new age? Nope. Form a new constitution. I might be blind. Backed. A new hope. Is it a new? No, it's not a new hope. Is it a new homeland? Yeah, where is it? Am I blind? Did I already do it? Am I stupid? Uh... No, I don't see it. Where is it? Looking thoughts. Oh, a new homeland. So we actually have to get down here. This is... Okay, what do we need for all of this? For this, I need to... All of this. Complete every province. Swan of influence over fort. So we need to build a lot of forts here. Okay. You get one here for later on. So I get one here and... Okay. Then our place in the sun. For that, we need to have a lot of cities in the north and in the south so just colonialize colonialize then beyond okay then yes we have to go over here probably control whoa 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 wait well this wait is this going back home this is probably going back home looking inwards okay we will see it we will see in time i will not spoil ourselves too much just know that it's very uh, down along the way okay so my income has calmed down, so I'm not getting as crazy much money anymore, which is, you know, happens. The the bubble bla busted, so we have less income now. Happens all the time to economies, right? So doing this, getting in there. Oh, they actually got away. Those penises. Sure, help me. Do my dirty work. Go there. Oh yeah, and we have the Ver Verenji in order helping me too. That is so good. And hey, we got the Renaissance. How about that? Hey, Renaissance <laughs> finally being around after the know how long. The sad thing is it doesn't change so much because we still have to 25% modify, which is horrible. If they take that, I would love it because I could peace out so fast. Please. Yeah, good. Money, war operations, force religion. That's kind of a standard piece for really. And you are just doing this here. Beautiful. Finished, and then we get very soon, hopefully. I wanted to see hopefully. Hopefully sounds wrong. I was about to say very soon the Trail of Tears, so we get the, the money. I'm not saying hopefully. That sounds very bad. I know what it historically was, and it was horrible, okay? Uh, and yeah, as the last big thing, I will take this for the administrative technology cost. We will need the 10%, especially with development ideas, and then later on also wanting expansion ideas. It's going to be painful if we don't get it. But that has to wait. I wish you all a great one. Until next episode. Bye.